Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Let me start off by saying first and foremost that I know Orlando Brown has said some pretty wild stuff. I'm aware of that. I've seen his antics all over the internet, but sometimes when people come from that background of being a child actor, substance abuse is one of the commonalities that we see with them a lot, right? Not just with him, but anybody from the entertainment industry, right? They come out and they say some pretty wacky stuff. However, when this person is not sober, and they say these things, you can be like, oh boy, you know, this person is, they're off the rails right now. They're high on something. But when you see them speaking coherently, doesn't look like they've been drinking, doesn't look like they've been smoking, right? And they're speaking those same things. Then you have to be like, well, hold on a minute. I thought that was, you know, the drugs talking. Right, because he's admitted it. He said that he started smoking weed, I think, at nine years old, and he started doing cocaine at eighteen. So when he seems to be free of those drugs, if he's saying the same things, it stands to reason that maybe, you know, pay attention. Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. This seems to be one of those instances. So I'll play like the next three minutes and then give you my take. Of course I got this video from the brother back balloon um so you know shouts out to him i just wanted to take this piece it's about three minutes long and obviously the woman that he's being interviewed by she has no idea what she he's talking about she's trying to follow but obviously this is not stuff that she has looked into because it seems to go right over her head and you can hear from her responses so let's jump in be sure to subscribe like the content and of course share it Let's go. Industry, what you must understand is, you know, um, when you do sell your soul, you are allowed to live forever. Mm. And these people that are called youngins, rookies, new booties, like I was, had no idea that these people still live. Mm. They will pray, haunt, kidnap, anything to stay on top. This is their world. They have nothing but time is what they believe. Now, who are we talking about? We're talking about everyone that's supposed to be dead. Like it's, it's a, there is in a the world, industry, in the industry. Okay. You know, when you, when, you know, when you walk around with the, with the, with the fake face and sh you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open up. It's like it's like this is not. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that since World War One, mm -hmm. we've been taught by the Indians and all this whole other shit how to you know take skin people and wear their faces to infiltrate the families and this this that and the other. This is something that has been going on since World War One and before that. So now we've conquered the art of exchanging spirits, trading spirits. So it's supposed to be hard to identify, but when it comes down to it, this, this world of Hollywood, this wicked world is what they call it. Some people call it Holly weird. You know, um, you could, you could literally go to Hollywood and you, if you open your eyes, it will manifest to you. They'll be right there in front of you. The people who are trading the people who are the people who are on the walls, the people who are idolized are laying in their vomit on Hollywood Boulevard. And it's, it, you have to open your eyes. It's done right in front of us. See, and if you're willing to sell your soul, you know, then you'll be right there, too. Is this the Illuminati? Well, it's not my family. It's not my family. Well, I can't blame that on me and my family, okay. but I can't blame it on others. I could blame it on those that, that caused the harm on themselves by coming to the Illuminati and trying to sacrifice themselves in order to get ahead. Can't blame those people. I mean, there's a lot of talk about it, you know, on YouTube. You know, we call it the wormhole of YouTube. 
But to hear you as a child star come out and say that this exists, mm -hmm. you know, these people are doing whatever they got to do to stay alive and to mm -hmm. ensure that their throne is kept. It's kept. But that's not none of my business. I, I, I warn how I warn when, you know, you, 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 you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what he seems to be talking about is, seems like a combination of a couple of things. First of all, he's talking about wearing a person's skin, which would be akin to this right here. But we've heard about these stories about skinwalkers, right? And about reptilians, right? If you followed people like... Um, Jordan Maxwell and people like that. You've heard different parts and pieces of these stories previously. Now, obviously, he is coming from a perspective within the industry. Now, I said, once you're exposed to stuff like that, it necessitates that you keep yourself in a stupor to numb yourself to the fact that it's all been revealed to you, all right? So the drugs, the alcohol, all these things are to numb that reality that you are now a part of. And as you get older, then you want to talk about it. Is this what we're seeing? It could be. Now, most people have a two-dimensional mind. They don't think about anything. They see something. That's what it is. Move forward. No more to see here that's you then fine but what about if you're a person that actually thinks about things what if you think there's more to this than just this what if you think there's a spiritual aspect of things then these things might come into play right but it would be interesting to see what if anything happens to him that's the part that's really interesting i just talked about when was it yesterday or the day before about all the crypto billionaires dying and people with a lot of wealth and everybody just discounts it as you know coincidence well it's coincidental so you know whatever we don't know that to be true all right i just saw tucker last night saying that even epstein's death was more than likely a murder so what is really going on how much credence can we give him? Because, I mean, he looks sober. So, is there more to come? I guess we'll see. Time will tell. But, for more content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and, of course, share it with everyone you know. Until next time, it's been Orlando Brown. This is what he has to say. So, I'm out. Peace.